अलायंस यूनाइट टू फॉर्म मोदी थ्री पॉइंट टू अमित सस्पेंस एनडीए फ्लेक्सेस मसल एनडीए मीट वीडियो टेल्स द फुल स्टोरी नायडू एंड नीतीश सीटेड नेक्स्ट टू मोदी top speed towards government formation and that's our top focus on india first so the national democratic alliance or the nda unanimously elected narendra modi as their leader prime minister narendra modi will stake claim to form the government we are told on friday the swearing in is likely to take place on saturday the opposition india bloc two had its meeting and they met at congress president mallikarjun kharge's residence in the national capital they will also decide whether they are to stake claim to form the government cobble together numbers or sit in the opposition because the question remains does the opposition have the numbers the question for the bjp remains what went wrong with its mission char so far especially what went wrong in their fortress uttar pradesh I'm Gaurav Savant we get you details but first as always let's get started with the headlines at 10 Dex cleared for NDA 3.0 allies the TDP JDU and the Shiv Sena firm their support to Prime Minister Narendra Modi sources say the NDA will stake claim on Friday the swearing in is planned for Saturday evening India Bloc allies huddle in the national capital Akhilesh Yadav Sharad Pawar Tejasvi Yadav attend the meeting India Bloc calls the verdict a mandate against the Modi government to save democracy Devendra Fadnavis offers to resign as Maharashtra's deputy chief minister takes responsibility for the BJP's poor show in the state chief minister Eknath Shinde says the mahayuti will review defeat World leaders congratulate Prime Minister Narendra Modi on his historic third consecutive term US President Joe Biden Rishi Sunak, Emmanuel Macron, Georgia Meloni send in their wishes for Prime Minister Modi. Markets bounce back a day after the rout on Verdict Day. Bulls roll back on Dalal Street. Investors become richer by 13 lakh crore rupees. So let me now get you the latest on Modi 3.0. The decks are cleared for Narendra Modi to become Prime Minister of India once again for a third term, a historic third term. So this will be NDA 3.0. The NDA had its first meeting today, this evening at the seven Lok Kalyan Marg residence of the Prime Minister, and the allies reaffirmed their support to work under Prime Minister Narendra Modi. they reaffirmed their faith narendra modi was elected unanimously as the leader of nda the prime minister took to social media platform x just a short while back and he's posted uh, he's put out a post saying met our valued nda partners ours is an alliance that will further national progress and fulfill regional aspirations we will serve the 140 crore people of india and work towards building a vikasit bharat so that's the theme that nda 3.0 is working towards vikasit bharat or a developed india nda alliance partners when they met at the seven lok kalyan marg residence of prime minister narendra modi earlier this evening and you're looking at those images on your television screen so chandra babu naidu was sitting right next to prime minister narendra modi nitish kumar was also there uh, 21 signatures on that letter uh, where narendra modi was unanimously elected as the leader of the nda 
It's been a day of hectic parlays in the national capital. So we'll show you two images now. So on the one hand, you had the BJP-led NDA that held a meeting at the 7 Lok Kalyan Marg at the Prime Minister's residence. On the other hand, you also had the opposition India bloc allies. They came together. They met at the Congress Party president Malikarjun Kharge's residence to discuss their next course of action. So around 15 parties, 15 NDA alliance partners and the BJP, they met at this meeting. They pledged their support to the BJP, passed a resolution where they unanimously elected Narendra Modi as the leader. We are now being told that Prime Minister Narendra Modi will meet President Draupadi Murmu once again on the 7th of June, on Friday, and stake claim to form the government. The India bloc meeting, at this meeting, Congress President Malikarjun Kharge claimed that the election results, 2024 results, were a moral defeat for Prime Minister Narendra Modi and a mandate against him. Now, the India bloc lauded their allies for staying together, fighting unitedly, and remaining resolute against the Bharatiya Janata Party. The constituents of India block thank the people of India for the overwhelming support received by our allies. The people's mandate has given befitting reply to the BJP and their politics of hate, corruption, and deprivation. This is a mandate in defense of the Constitution of India and against price rise, unemployment, and crony capitalism, and also to save democracy. The India bloc will continue to fight against the fascist rule of the BJP, led by Modi. We will take appropriate steps at the appropriate time to realize the people's desire not to be ruled by the BJP's government. And this is our decision. And we all together agreed on these points. And we we'll definitely, uh, whatever promises we have given to the people, that we will keep it up. And uh, just I want to tell this. Thank you very much. Sir, how, okay. how can we contest elections if you are not a part of NDA? Three parties combined we collected. Why you got that doubt? I don't know. <laughs> sir, how was the meeting? How was the meeting, sir? Good. And sir, what about uh, sir, portfolios? Sir, any portfolios? Sir, any portfolios? I think it's okay. Number is NDA. We will be able to get the government. वो बिहार को लेकर के ज़्यादा विशेष ध्यान दे बिहार को विशेष राज का दर्जा दे और दूसरी महत्वपूर्ण बात जो हम लोगों ने बिहार सरकार ने जब महागठबंधन की सरकार सत्रह महीने थी बिहार में तो हम लोगों ने जाति आधारित गन्ना करा के उसके बाद 75 परसेंट आरक्षण की सीमा को बढ़ाया था फिर हम भी लोगों के कैबिनेट प्रपोजल एक गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया में भेजा गया था कि इस पचहत्तर परसेंट के आरक्षण को शेड्यूल नाइन में डाला जाए तो हम तो चाहेंगे कि उसको जो सरकार आए वो शेड्यूल लाइन में उस आरक्षण को डाले और हम चाहेंगे कि देश भर में जाति आधारित गन्ना जो है वो कराई जाए एक अच्छा मौका है उनको किंग मेकर के रूप में अगर है तो कम से कम इतना तो होना चाहिए कि बिहार को विशेष राज्य का दर्जा दिलवाएं चंद्रा बाबू और नीतीश बाबू या दोनों बाबू ना देश ओड़ो तो फ्त भाजपे नहीं है तो सग पक्ष है तेने आधी सुद्धा कांग्रेस बरोबर ही काम के लिए लाये गठबंधन में थे, तेने बीजेपी बरोबर अटल जिंचा बरोबर काम के लिए गठबंधन में थे, ते आये तो सुना, पर मोदी ना गठबंधन सरकार चालू नहीं था कितने अनुभव आए? So the stage is set for Modi 3.0. The images that you see are of Prime Minister Narendra Modi sitting with the NDA members.
apart from this meeting and that group photograph that was taken, we are told that the Prime Minister interacted separately with the leaders. It was an informal chit-chat that the Prime Minister had with these leaders after he was unanimously elected as the leader of the NDA. So, next, the coming Friday, the Prime Minister will stake claim. On Saturday, it's the 8th, the Prime Minister will be sworn in for a historic third consecutive term. We are told that after 1962, after Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, he was chosen, he was elected Prime Minister three times in a row. Narendra Modi will only be the second after Pandit Nehru to be sworn in for the third time. Polami Saha with our top story. The stage is set for Modi 3.0. Narendra Modi will take oath as the Prime Minister of India for the third consecutive term on Saturday. Preparations have begun at the Rashtrapati Bhavan for the swearing-in ceremony. Prime Minister Modi met President Draupadi Murmu on Wednesday and tendered his resignation along with that of his Council of Ministers. He will be the caretaker PM till he takes oath again as Prime Minister. In the last cabinet meet of the government, the ministers passed a resolution congratulating Modi for winning a third term. On June 7, the NDA will hold its parliamentary meet. Modi will be elected as the leader of the NDA. He will address the alliance MPs. Modi will then meet the president along with his allies to stake claim to form the government. Speaking to party workers on Tuesday, Modi had claimed that people have reposed faith in the NDA. हम सभी जनता जनार्दन के बहुत आभारी हैं। देशवासियों ने भाजपा पर, NDA पर पूर्ण विश्वास जताया है करप्शन के खिलाफ लड़ाई दिनों दिन कठिन हो रही है राजनीतिक स्वार्थ के लिए जब करप्शन का महिमा मंडन शुरू हो जाए और इसमें निर्लज्जता की सारी हदें पार हो जाए तब करप्शन को बहुत ताकत मिल जाती है इसलिए तीसरे कार्यकाल में एनडीए सरकार का बहुत ज्यादा जोर हर तरह के करप्शन को जड़ से उखाड़ फेंकने का होगा द बीजेपी हैज सिक्योर्ड 240 सीट्स वेल शॉर्ट ऑफ द 272 मार्क द एनडीए हैज 293 सीट्स this time, Prime Minister Modi will be heavily dependent on the support of his allies, including Nitish Kumar and Chandrababu Naidu. The 13-party India bloc has won 234 seats. With Polami Saha in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. So a day after that 99-seat surge of the Congress party, Muslim women assembled outside the Congress party office and they were seeking the much-promised cash dole. We'll show you images outside the Uttar Pradesh Congress office. Remember Rahul Gandhi's khadagat, khadagat, khadagat cash transfer? UP Congress office, I'll show you those images. Congress, that khadagat cash guarantee, Muslim women aspirants, they were left high and dry. Take a look. पूरे देश में जिस तरीके से कांग्रेस को समर्थन मिला है और उसके बाद से ही अब कहीं ना कहीं उत्तर प्रदेश की राजधानी लखनऊ में जो कांग्रेस की गारंटी थी उसको लेकर लोग कांग्रेस पार्टी ऑफिस के बाहर महिलाएं पहुंची हैं आपको दिखाएं हम कि ये कांग्रेस पार्टी ऑफिस है और यहां पर महिलाएं अपना कांग्रेस से गारंटी कार्ड लेकर आई हैं और इनका मानना है कि अभी ये कार्ड जो है जिस पर मिला है इनको बांटा जाएगा और इस पर जमा करेंगे और ये साथ साथ आपको हम दिखाएं कि ये जो कार्ड है इसमें एक लाख वेतन हर शिक्षित युवा की पहली नौकरी पक्की ये कांग्रेस का गारंटी कार्ड है जो इनको मिला है और ये महिलाएं इसको भर कर लेकर आई हैं इसके साथ साथ इसमें ये आप भर कर लेकर आई हैं हमारे साथ कई महिलाएं मुस्लिम उनसे पूछते हैं 
कि ये क्या वो लेकर आई है भर के और क्या कह रहे हैं ये बताइए क्या नाम है आपका जी तस्लीम ये आप भर कर लेकर आई कहाँ से मिला था कार्ड आपको ये यही से जी तो भर कर ले आई तो जमा कर रहे हैं जी अभी वो कार्य बूथ नंबर पड़ रहा है इसपे जी तो कितने आपके फॉर्म है तीन है इस फॉर्म को जमा करने के बाद उन्होंने क्या कहा है क्या मिलेगा आपको अभी तो उन्होंने कुछ नहीं बताया तो ये पब्लिक है और मुस्लिम महिलाएं हैं साफ तौर से कांग्रेस पार्टी ऑफिस के बाहर पहुंची हैं इनको फॉर्म नहीं दिया गया आरोप ये लगा रही हैं और ये सभी फॉर्म को लेने आई हैं आप देखिए काफी देर से खड़ी हुई है दोपहर में आकर और इनका मानना है कि यहाँ कांग्रेस पार्टी ऑफिस जो है वो इनको फॉर्म देगी आपको फॉर्म मिला नहीं मिला फॉर्म कहाँ मिला बारह बजे बुलाए हम लोग खड़े हम लोग को फॉर्म नहीं मिला और हम लोग जो है तो ग्यारह बजे अभी क्या बता रहे हैं कि बारह सवा बारह पे मिलने का जो इतनी पब्लिक खड़ी सकी तो फॉर्म में क्या होगा बताया कुछ इन्होंने ये बता रहे थे की भाई इसमें पैसा गरीब लोग को पैसा देंगे राजू गांधी वो राहुल गांधी समझाया जा रहा है की जब लोकतंत्र में देखिए साफ तौर ऐसी ये जो महिलाएं है वो आई है और अब अभी तक कहीं ना कहीं साफ तौर से जो मानना है वो ये है कि अभी तक इन लोगों को फॉर्म नहीं मिला ये आरोप लगा रही हैं और ऐसे लालच में सीधे चली आई हैं कि कहना है कि राहुल गांधी की जो कांग्रेस की सरकार बन रही है और उसी को लेकर कहीं ना कहीं ये सभी अब इस फॉर्म को लेने कांग्रेस पार्टी ऑफिस के बाहर पहुँच रहे हैं लखनऊ से कैमर पर्सन संजय सिंह के साथ आशीष श्रीवास्तव so will that guarantee of the congress be fulfilled we'll track that story closely but for the moment i want to shift focus to our other story uttar pradesh that seen as a bastion for the bjp and especially after the ram mandir the bjp had hoped to increase its tally the nda tally from 64 some leaders spoke of crossing 70 of 80 seats however the bjp collapsed to 33 as against 37 of the samajwadi party and 6 of the congress some bjp leaders argue it was sabotage others say the dalit vote bank shifted but what could what was it that neither the bjp nor the rss leaders on ground could spot the trend listen in to some of the voices that are coming in mujhe jahan ki jankari hai to media par na bata kar ke main jo uchit sthan hai jaise rashtriya adhyaksh hai या पार्टी का संगठन है मैं जरूर बताने का काम करूंगा कि मेरी दृष्टि से कहा चूक हुई है तो पार्टी अपने आकलन को और मेरे आकलन को सोचेगी कि हाँ कहा गलती हो गई पूरे प्रदेश में कुछ गद्दारों ने गद्दारी की वो आस्तीन के सांप बने लेकिन इसकी समीक्षा पार्टी करेगी वर्ड्स लाइक गद्दारी एंड आस्तीन के सांप What went wrong with the BJP in Uttar Pradesh? Why did it fall to 33 from 64 when it hoped to cross the 70 mark? Joining me on this broadcast is Shantanu Gupta. He is a political analyst and author. He has written a book on the Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath. Also with me is author and political analyst Rashid Kidwai. He has covered the Congress Party for a very long time. And Professor Badri Narayan is a columnist and political analyst who has studied. the the dalit vote for a very very long time but shantanu gupta let's take this one by one astin ke saap and gaddari what do you make of uh, of what sakshi maharaj is saying i think i'll not uh, try to delve into an individual statement he might be experienced in his seat or maybe a neighboring seat uh, i doubt he was even the star prachara who, who went to multiple seats to my understanding what worked in congress and samajwadi party's favor is the two fake campaigns that started the fake video of amit shah that was posted by a sitting chief minister revendra reddy and i realized that it was floating around in whatsapp groups multiple whatsapp group and samajwadi party in congress made an extra effort to make sure that everyone in the village gets that video that fake video uh, that that the reservation is going and because they knew the dalit vote when it shifts from mayawati it will go somewhere and if you create a fear of sc st reservation going off and by a fake video of amit shah in hindi that will percolate point number 1 point number 2 you have just shown another fake trick that they have played they have given this uh, receipts almost with the counter file that once we will win we'll give you this 1 lakh rupees and now in multiple places they are going with the receipts and getting this 1 lakh rupees which is you know already fake even if you come to bower you will give a scheme you you will do a different kind of tabulation you will not get Uh, issue a receipt uh, during the election and paid back it is almost like bribing the op- uh, bribing no so you the- blaming the opposition the bjp you are saying did no wrong the no, bjp, BJP did no wrong what what in collapsing BJP, to 
BJ, what what two things? I think BJP was super overconfident of the Modi Yogi brand and the work, the super work that Yogi government has done, and the Ayodhya Ram wave. They were relying on that, but I think these fake tricks worked over that. Okay, a fake trick working more than Ram Mandir at Ayodhya. Rashid Kidwai, sabotage as some argue, uh, fake videos as uh, uh, you know Shantanu Gupta says. Is that an excuse or? Is there something deeper that the BJP is not looking within your appreciation? Uh, 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 we must understand that the BJP since 2014 and Uttar Pradesh after 2017 as a very, you know, robust network of political workers, uh, Padna provokes, and there is an entire that fame machinery, the double engine ki sarkar. I, I, while I, 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 I am tempted to agree with my friend Shantanu Gupta, who's a, a very well-known uh, writer, but I find it very difficult that during a, you know, uh, I mean, 45 days long campaign thing, this was not deducted. So this is something, I think it's a very poor reflection on the BGPs that fame well-oiled machinery, whether you attribute it to, to Amit Shah or you do it to, uh, to Yogi Adityanath. I think uh, it's a very simple, basic thing. I think it was a largely wrong selection of party candidates. Even Ayodhya, that I'm a little familiar. I think the local candidate was immensely popular, uh, oh, sorry, unpopular. And therefore, you know, uh, people voted against him. It had nothing to do with that Asta in, in Lord drama or all those kind of things. In any case, I think it was very wrong on the part of BGP to, auto, to automatically convert all those who have uh, accord primacy to faith uh, as their sort of, you know, voters. Uh, voting, uh, what, uh, what, as we understand, is a very complex uh, phenomenon. It's also about aspiration. It's about 18 to 25 people, uh, age group people not finding uh, jobs, uh, okay. ruler distress, all kind of things have happened. And, of course, a very wise and a judicious uh, selection of candidates on the part of Akhilesh Yadav. He gave, he gave tickets to only five Yadavs and four Muslims and gave a lot of, uh, mobilized a lot of uh, uh, non-Yadav uh, OBC communities, including Dalits, etc. So it's an open, you know, board game of chess. Both sides may move and counter moves to blame it to conspiracy or some Asteen Ke Saap and all. I think it's, uh, you know, it doesn't hold any uh, sort of credibility. Professor Badri Narayan, in your appreciation, does this Asteen Ke Saap and sabotage and Gaddar theory, uh, does, does that hold or is that a very convenient scapegoat and escape route over reliance on, on Prime Minister Narendra Modi, UPCM, Yogi Adityanath and Aastha in Ram Mandir? Because had it been any of these reasons, the BJP would not have lost in Ayodhya Faisabad. See, there are, uh, there are stories, there are half a story we usually tell about the defeat of the, of the BJP in the UP. The one story is uh, this kind of uh, local anti-incumbency of the, uh, against the MP candidates, local candidates. Uh, which, uh, where, which uh, got the ticket, who got the ticket. So anti-incumbency against the candidate and then the, their interaction with the cadres. Of the of the BJP cadres, that may be the reason, and Astin ka staff may be uh, told by the Sakshi Maharaj in this context. But uh, that one can easily understand that the ticket distribution by BJP, uh, it's a, a, a repetition third, three times, third time, maybe one of the reason uh, of the anti incumbency against the local candidate. This is the one story. The second story is uh, that uh, what. Uh, 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 Akhilesh Yadav and the Samajwadi Party uh, group, uh, opposition group did. Uh, one is uh, already, uh, Shantanu said in, in his way, word way, this uh, fear psychosis narrative, narrative of the fear psychosis in which they push, uh, they put a lot of plots, plots okay. of the reservation, plots of the, of the, uh, the constitution and the plot, various kinds of plots they brought and put it back. So fear psychosis story created uh, a worry among a smaller identities, uh, which is uh, which broke the broader Hindu identity. So Hindu identity and the caste identity. So caste identity become became worryful, uh, worryful, uh, and and uh, they uh, mobilized aggressively. Not all, but a section of those votes, OBC, MBC, okay, and, and they voted for the uh, for the Samajwadi Party. Because so Shantanu Gupta, uh, some have even argued so that's the other issue. Okay, both both are other guests. Is, 
have have talked about the wrong identification of candidates uh, or the wrong selection of candidates. Some have argued that Yogi Adityanath had a different list. The central BJP leadership and the state leadership perhaps are not on the same page. Is that also your appreciation that the list that had been sent by Yogi Adityanath apparently was rejected and the, the voters rejected the candidates who had been selected in large numbers? Sort of as the way I understand the BJP's ticket selection process, and I'm sure you can check it with any senior BJP functionary, is same across the states. It's not that UP BJP or UP unit has a separate uh, selection way. Normally, so, uh, names are invited from the local team where the inputs of chief minister, the Sangathan Mantri, and the Pradesh Adhyaksh, the state president is taken. The list then goes to the central parliamentary committee. They've already done winnability surveys and based on that they match and give the survey so and yogi etanath sat in all those meetings so now these theories by some youtubers are being popped up that yogi etanath's name it may be that if i'm put a name you may disagree there might be a dis uh, and bjp is a very democratic party their agreement disagreement so let's say someone like lalu singh from ayodhya he's 71 years old everyone is not young as narendra modi uh, in, in 70 plus he was a chhatra neta he's quite popular a lot of people saying his ticket could have been changed so there might be some discrepancy like this but that doesn't narrate the story of uh, such less and more seats and also point you got up bjp is still in up is holding 42 percent of vote share yes. so that's not converting that's not converting into seats that's a different story in first past the poll system okay rashid kidwai did leaders like you know leaders like arvind kejriwal when they said uh the Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath could be the next Chief Minister to be removed after BJP removed several of its Chief Ministers. So the BJP has argued or those close to him have argued that the Congress or the India Alliance group resorted to a lot of lies, half-truths to, to build a narrative. Reservation chala jayega, 400 par chahiye so that there will be no more SC, ST, OB reservation, OBC reservation. All of that, that kind of narrative seemed to have worked and it, it was lies that led to the India Alliance getting 40, 43 odd seats. Uh, uh, God of this may be true, but what I'm saying is we have MCC and as long as all these things are not, I mean, uh, the lies or half lie, half truth, a false narrative that you're talking about is not, you know, uniformly discouraged in the sense that cutting across party lines by the election commission and there is a broad consensus among political parties it is futile to be talking about you know one lie and a counter lie or a false narrative and all that fact of the matter is broadly uh, as we understand in uttar pradesh sam dab and Ved, all these things are uh, you know uniformly applied by all sides concerned yes. some well, less some more and it is only after the defeat that you know that it, it it tends to become unfortunately losers argument. So this is the uh, long and short of it. Again, I would say the BJP had a very robust you know uh, uh, app based uh, feedback system. If the Panna Pramukhs were not able to catch that and counter it, whose fault is this? Yeah, because Shantanu Gupta doesn't seem to add up. Uh, you know whether it was the state BJP. Uh, you know the chief minister is supposed to be extremely strong. With he has you know his pulse, hand on the pulse of the people. Why did the BJP not counter? If the BJP now feels it was a false narrative, why didn't the BJP counter it, or why didn't the Sang counter it? Unless the Sang and the BJP were not on the same page in Uttar Pradesh, as some have argued. So they, they have counted. I think, uh, Gaurav, it's a normal philosophy that if the lie reaches 100 people, the counter reaches only 50 people. It's very difficult to go to each mobile and correct the video. But I'm very surprised that Rashid Kidweji is almost justifying a fake video of Home Minister. And that too posted by a sitting Chief Minister. And that too, so it, it's, it's see, saying a lie and half lie, different thing, but you posting a fake, deep fake video using AI of Home Minister and your Chief Minister is posting it. And it's very difficult to because if you, if you have seen, seen this video, so that's not even misrepresentation of fact. That's like a, I don't know what to call it, which category of lie it is, right? And as I, as I told you, if, if if the video reaches 100 mobile, the explanation reaches only half. So I think that worked in UP to the advantage. And I've seen how Samajwadi Party used it to advantage, made multiple WhatsApp group, made sure that every small sub had shown. 
but i'm surprised because uh, world over it is now being argued that the bjp has a bigger network it also has the sang uh, it also has Absolutely. better communication skills and yet this could not be countered and professor badri narain this narrative of samvidhan badal diya jayega reservation chala jayega uh, did that spook Uh, you know a certain section of the society so much that uh, you know they they chose to just shift their allegiance uh, lock stock and barrel as some argue yeah you are very right ragoro i think this uh, what uh, i am saying it fear, creating fear psychosis narrative of fear psychosis around reservation around uh, the constitution and you know that we state this 400 par uh, uh, slogan that 400 par why because of they want to uh, abolish uh, to abolish the our constitution so and this and it will uh, and they are also planning to abolish the reservation of the reservation so uh, they have just twisted it and this entire uh, the psycho uh, this fear psychosis based narrative worked well among a section of uh, literate dalit and obcs uh, urban obcs and kasba obcs and also a section of mbcs but but uh, you know i and, and and because of that the modi uh, campaign you know, which is all, which has always a power to lift the the the, the candidates and and provide the viability uh, that become uh, became ruptured because of this fear psychosis narrative worked uh, influence a certain section and santuni is very right that uh, samajwadi party and congress this time use entire uh, their skills in uh, Uh, using social media etc but you are also right if the bjp and the sun had a strong network why they failed in that why they couldn't count the center but, uh, but the you know, state uh, the, the, the home the, minister the, the, the union home uh, minister knows the state very well the union home minister you know amit so shah knows the lay of the land he knows entire uttar pradesh like the back of his hand he spent considerable time there he has been credited with scripting the 2014 and the 2019 uh, victories in in uttar pradesh yogi adityanath is seen as a very strong chief minister uh, the sang is seen as an organization that has that has uh, you know a very extensive network across uttar pradesh and shantanu gupta none of this seems to have worked for the bjp uh, mm -hmm. and two questions this this convers this talk that yogi adityanath will be removed as chief minister after vasundhara raje after shivraj singh chauhan after multiple other chief ministers were changed by the bjp central leadership in several states did that have an effect is yogi now no longer seen as invincible in the state will this have an impact on up elections in a couple of years something that's the third lie when i wanted to say so the first lie was as you said the fake video second lie was guarantee card but now women in women voters and especially the muslim voters are going around in congress offices and want their 1 lakh the third lie was this and this going on from quite some time whenever the election time comes samajwadi party starts this modi yogi tussle right remember in 2022 they said because narendra modi did not uh, in fact it, it's today's yogi atnath's birthday 5th of june uh, in 22 and 5th of june they said the same that narendra modi did not tweet and he did not wish uh, yogi atna the birthday that seems something not good with them though then realize that narendra modi is not tweeting anyone he is calling people these days not tweeting right so i think they created this problem because and they are not trying to create a tension between yogi and modi that's one they are trying to alienate the thakur vote because they mm. associate though we say jat na ho sadhu ki jat na pucho sadhu ki we don't associate yogi atna with a particular caste but we know that in his pre sanyas life he comes from the thakur uh community okay. so that's also the second lie third lie they keep communicating just to alienate thakur community whenever the opportunity comes but you admit it's a failure of the bjp's communication network or reaching out to people or sending for across sure, that message sure, because the sure, message was that sure. the center and the state were not on the same page or the sang and the bjp were not on the same page in uttar pradesh i doubt i doubt there, there there's any sang and bjp i i i've roamed around up i met a lot of sang people they were sitting in bjp offices they are also running the campaigns they are part of the campaigns so i think all of this is happening and hindsight doing commentary is very very easy a uh, similar thing when i asked in bihar in fact that's a, the better question is why the same phenomena did not happen in bihar it seems chirag paswan because who has a touch in the ground the shrulka's community he kind of had neutralized that effort that's why the losses in bihar are far lesser 
and still i'm repeatedly saying god of the vote percentage of bjp is still 42% which was the exact vote share they got in 2022 just 2 years back yes okay at the first meeting of nda 3.0 all eyes were on tdp chief chandrababu naidu and jdu chief nitish kumar both central to the nda now that the bjp has less than 272 of its own and both regional leaders got pride of place at the nda huddle close to prime minister narendra modi but what's the conversation behind the scenes what do they want in return for their support to narendra modi 3.0 we bring you more in this report nda gets set for modi 3.0 But allies are set to give Narendra Modi a hard time, even as allies pledge their support to the BJP. We are in NDA. I am going for NDA meeting. In course of time, anything will report to you. Thank you. This bar ka chuna humne Narendra Modi ji ke netrit mein NDA gathbandan se lada hai. Ham Bihar ki safalta se. आशावान भी है प्रसन्न भी मोदी जी को पूरी तरह जितनी मेजोरिटी के लिए सांसद लगते हैं संख्या लगती है उतनी पूरी हो चुकी है उससे ज्यादा है और एनडीए की सरकार मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में बनेगी दिस टाइम इट्स कमिंग एट अ प्राइस विद बीजेपी फॉलिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ मेजोरिटी इन द लोकसभा एलआईज टीडीपी जेडीयू शिंदे सेना LJP and HAM have asked for plum ministerial berths in Modi 3.0. Chandra Babu Naidu is set to seek bigger share in government with three cabinet berths, Lok Sabha speaker post and two state ministers. Falling second in line is the JDU which may ask for three ministerial berths in the new cabinet. Shinde Sena and Chirag Paswan's LJP is likely to ask for one ministry and one state of minister each. Jitin Ram Manji's HM wants him to be made a mantri in Modi cabinet. While both TDP and JDU have pledged their unwavering support for Modi 3.0, it may come at a substantial price. With Paul Misa New Delhi Bureau Report India Today. So there's no doubt it was a thrilling verdict day for our political leaders and political parties but this tremor of the verdict is still being felt take a look at how some of the top netas appeared just before and after the verdict Chandrababu Naidu is a king maker. He's an old ally of the NDA from the Atal Bihari Vajpayee days. His status in the Narendra Modi led NDA's first tenure was seen as a rather diminished one. But that time the BJP had a clear mandate in 2014. He scorned his ally in 2018 when his demand for a special status for Andhra Pradesh was rejected, so he walked out. 6 years later he's back as an indispensable ally with a strong demand some of the analysts say that he's seeking at least three cabinet posts plus two ministers of state berths along with the post of the speaker in modi 3.0 chandrababu naidu has once again emerged as a king maker in indian politics mayam mai atal bihari vajpayee ईश्वर की शपथ लेता हूँ ईश्वर की शपथ लेता हूँ 
कि मैं विधि द्वारा स्थापित भारत के संविधान के प्रति सच्ची श्रद्धा और निष्ठा रखूंगा the third term of atal bihari vajpayee and the only full term of his as the prime minister was powered by 20 alliance partners the king maker in that the national democratic alliance was chandra babu naidu of the telugu desam party then at 49 chandra babu was already an established satrap of indian politics with a political career etched out for over two decades behind him Chandra Babu Naidu started his political career as a student leader and a youth congress member before joining his father in law the stalwart Andhra Chief Minister NT Rama Rao's party TDP He rose in party ranks with organizational skills but when challenged by Lakshmi Parvati second wife of his father in law Chandra Babu rebelled and led TDP to a successful assembly win and his accession to the throne as the chief minister of Andhra Pradesh in 1995 After the death of NT Rama Rao, Chandra Babu Naidu led TDP in the spirit and direction of his father-in-law. Not only in state politics, Chandra Babu Naidu grew in stature in national politics as the convener of the United Front that ruled India between 1996 and 1998. TDP under Chandra Babu Naidu in short successive second term in the assembly in 1999. and emerged as a powerful ally in NDA in the subsequent parliament election 5 years later it all came crashing down prime minister vajpayee's india shining lost its appeal to voters and chandra babu was routed out of power in andhra pradesh after sitting it out in the opposition bench for 5 years in the 2009 elections tdp and chandra babu faced another defeat in the face of the challenge posed by actor turned politician Chiranjeevi and his Praja Rajyam party The map of Andhra Pradesh was changed a lot after its bifurcation On the eve of 2014 elections Chandra Babu made a calculated alliance with Chiranjeevi's brother Pawan Kalyan's Jan Sena party in the state and with the BJP led by Narendra Modi in the center to ascend to the chief minister's chair for the third time In the next 5 years he was plagued by Jagan Mohan Reddy's campaign and tried to broker for a special status for the state from his NDA ally BJP. When he was refused, TDP withdrew its support from NDA in 2018. A year later, Chandra Babu Naidu lost the state election to YSRCP. In the next 5 years, Chandra Babu tried to find a new ally while he was being prosecuted by Jagan Mohan Reddy. Cornered and ignored in the India block, his old ally BJP, whom he rejected in 2018, came to his aid. 2024 elections were a tough battle for the 73-year-old Chandra Babu Naidu, and he gave it all to emerge as not only the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, but a kingmaker in a humbled Modi 3.0 government. The fortune wheel for Chandra Babu Naidu came full circle on 4th June 2024. Bureau report, India Today. We will continue to get you the latest from Modi 3.0 but that is all I have for you on India First this evening many thanks for watching news and updates continue on India today stay with us